Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about objects and classes and how to create those objects in Java. So before I actually get started, a fun little fact about me is that I am a twin. And being a twin is kind of like being a clone, honestly, because, you know, you have this person that's genetically very similar to you. Um, you know, we're both, you know, we both have brown hair, brown eyes, you know, we look alike, kind of. <laughs> um, so we, we have the same, like, general similarities, but we have these certain things that make us unique. For example, um, I'm a girl, he's a boy. I am more introverted, whereas he's much more extroverted. I am doing computer science, he's doing computer engineering. You know, we're very different, but uh, sh <laughs> um, but really, we are very different. But you know, genetically, we're very similar. And if you think about that in terms of cloning, you know, you have this blueprint for what you want your model to look like, and when you actually create the clones, they're going to be kind of different from what your idea of a model was, you know, in this beautiful diagram. <laughs> you know, we have this model, but it's very barren. It doesn't have the personality to it. It just has the basic features that make it what it is. But when you actually create two clones of it, it's going to have the basic features, but they're also going to have their own unique features, which, you know, make it unique. So Sophia 1 and Sophia 2 are clones of this idea of me, this idea of Sophia. Um, so let's actually apply this to Java. So as you get more advanced, you're going to be able to create your own blueprint and your own clones. But for now, because you guys are slightly on the beginner side, most likely, what we're going to do for now is we're going to use the standard blueprints that Java gives us we don't create them, Java just gives us the blueprint, and we create our own clones. So one example of a blueprint, aka a class, so now replace blueprint with class, they're the same thing. So one example of a class or an object that Java gives us, you might be familiar with, is actually strings. So strings are objects, aka clones. And you might be familiar with how you typically create a string, which is the keyword string, um, sorry, let me get rid of this extra space here. So the keyword string followed by the name of my string. So if I wanted to create my first clone, I would call it, you know, Sophia one. And then I would just use some quotation marks and, you know, say whatever I want, like, hello, or whatever, you know, that's just what I say, or hello, everybody. No, what do I say? I say happy coding, right? Hello, everybody. I hope you learned something new. Happy. Yeah, that's what I say. I say happy coding. <laughs> so, so that's what I say. So you might be familiar with this way of creating a string, but there's actually another way to create it, which is what you really want to do when you're creating objects, which is string. So you're going to call the blueprint name. Um, so instead of saying Sophia, I would say string. Like, that's just the blueprint name. So string, and then I would call the name of my clone. So if I'm creating another clone, let's say Sophia 2, that would be my brother. Oops. Sophia 2. Um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use the keyword new because I'm creating a new clone. I'm creating a new object. So I'm going to say new. I'm going to call the name of my uh, blueprint, aka my class, one more time, which is string. And then I'm going to have some parentheses. And within those parentheses, I'm going to put um, some parameters, aka some things that make me unique or my, my clone, my twin brother unique. So what does my brother say? I don't know. He doesn't have like a phrase. Um, he's really into football, so we can just say like football or whatever. It's American football, guys. We don't we don't call soccer football here. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. So yes, you might be familiar with this way at the top, and this way at the top is how you're gonna go about coding strings. You're never gonna code strings like this. The only reason that this exists, though, instead of doing it the second way is because the second way is the first way. That's how you create an object. But the P 
people at Java HQ were thinking, you know, this is a really long way to create a string. And people create strings a lot, you know. So let's create this shorter way to create a string. And that's how the first way came up. So I'm going to delete that for now. That's the way you guys are going to be creating strings. But for today, ignore that. Focus on the second way. So this is the way that you're going to be creating objects and creating objects of certain classes in your code. So one more time, just for a quick little review, this string is your blueprint. This is the name of your class. The Sophia2 is the name of my clone. This is the name of my specific object. This keyword new is what I'm indicating. I'm creating a new clone. I'm creating a new object. And then football in here, that's just something that makes um, my clone unique. So my twin brother, he loves football. I despise it. I cannot stand football. I, sorry, guys. If you watch football, good for you. I just think it's really boring. Sorry. But, um, so that's something that makes your clone unique. And that is a quick little introduction into objects and classes. I know it's really complicated right now. If it doesn't make sense, do not worry about it. As you keep coding, it's going to make more sense. So if it doesn't make sense for now, don't worry. Just keep practicing, guys. The more you practice, the more you're going to get comfortable with it. Um, but I hope you learned something new. If you didn't, I hope you had a little bit of fun with my funny little example. Um, thank you so much for watching and happy coding.